Hey, what's up, guys? TD Venom here, or Venet, and today I'm giving you guys a PP90 M1 Assault Moab, and uh, I'm pretty sure at the end I go 58 and 3. <clears throat> uh, I'm pretty sure, sure you guys don't want to know my class setup. You know, the game's over basically. Uh, two more weeks, nine more days, ten more days, something like that. And uh, I don't know. I'm, I, I just want to get off this game. This game is going to be dead to me as soon as Black Ops 2 comes out. <clears throat> and all the gameplays that I have saved up, I have about four or six, four to six more gameplays. I don't know. I'm, I'm deciding. I'm debating on whether to use them. But uh, I have four to six gameplays that I may use uh, until Black Ops 2. <clears throat> so... Uh, I'm, I'm set for the rest of my gameplay until Black Ops 2. And then, I'm pretty sure the day before Black Ops 2, I'm going to be doing um, a, a Black Ops video. And uh, I'm just going to, like, try to get prepared. And uh, I'm not going to, I don't know, I'm going to be really unprepared when I start playing Black Ops 2. Because, um, I don't know, I'm not used to Black Ops. And uh, I need to get used to Black Ops, Black Ops feel. And uh, if I don't get used to that, I don't know if um, Black Ops 2 will have, like, the same feel as Black Ops 1. But I'm going to try to get used to Black Ops 1 right before Black Ops 2. Try to prepare. Um, but it's not going to take a day to uh, to get used to it. So, <clears throat> I, I don't know what my first game is going to be. And I'm, like, scared. I'm going to back out my first game, like, Rage Quit. Because I always Rage Quit in uh, Modern Warfare 3. And, um... Uh, my my K not my KD my win loss ratio was never as bad as it really was like in uh in this game, but um as soon as I started, it, this game just ruined my win loss like I I don't know when I played Black Ops I think it was like a point eight which is like decent, but I still rage quit in that game but not nearly as much as I do in this game, so uh, I don't know but I'm scared I'm gonna rage quit my first game into Black Ops two, uh, I'm like say I'm like seven and one my first game and then I'll. And a seven and zero, oh, and then I die, and then I don't know if I die stupidly, and I thought I, and I think I shouldn't have died. Then um, I don't know. I might rage quit. So I don't know. I'm scared that my first game, cause um, I'm, I I don't know. I think I'm just gonna fuck up my win loss. I think the first week I'm gonna care about my win loss, and I don't know if Black Ops Two is gonna be like centered around playing with parties or or teams like in this game like. You can get insane gameplays when you have a full team doing a spawn trap and one person goes balls deep. I don't know if it, it will be like that in Black Ops 2. And what I'm planning on is right when I get Black Ops 2, um, I'm going to record a live com, maybe a face, uh, live face cam um, of my first game. Like start up the game from the dashboard and end the video when my first game is over. Uh, that really depends if I if I do good the first game. And if anyone's in my room, like, if my sister's in my room, then you'll see her in the background, which will be awkward. So I might do a face cam if she's not in there. And uh, I'll, I'll do a live cam, probably for sure, if I don't have a bad game. I don't know. I always was thinking about that since the summer, like, what I'm going to do. Because I remember um, Operator Perry and, uh, okay, Tabes did a MW2, his first game. He didn't know what was, he was doing. He's like... What's this care package? What's going on? And then he gets a Fred. He gets like a kill. He, he didn't know how to boost the Fred. I don't know. It was pretty funny. And then Operator Perry did his first game on MW3. He recorded it and he did really good. I think he went like 29 and one or something. And um, I'm hoping I can do something like that. If I get a good scoreline my first game, I don't know. That'd, that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to doing that. Like uh, my first game, I go like 30 and two or something. Have a 15 KD. And <laughs> take a picture of that and then show my friends. Oh, yeah, I had a 15 KD my first day of Black Ops. And I remember my first day of Black Ops, Black Ops 1, um, I got to level, like, 28. And uh, I don't know if I could get a high level because I have basketball. But I remember I came back from a game at, like, 7 o'clock, and I played till like, 10.30 that night. And I don't know if I skipped school or not. I think I did. <laughs> I mean, it's just 8th grade. 8th grade's not even a big deal. That was two years ago. 8th grade, I missed, like, 48 days of school. And half of them were because I was sick, and no, a fourth of them were because I was sick. No, <clears throat> and the three fourths of them is just because I, I'm just like, nah, it's eighth grade. Who gives a shit? Eighth grade was so easy. <clears throat> eighth grade was so easy. And uh, I don't know. It's gonna be pretty fun. And then last year, Modern Warfare Three, um, I think I went to 
no, my dad came home with it at like 5:30, at like from and he bought it from Target because that was the only place where Modern Warfare 3 wasn't sold out. And I'm hoping I'm pre-ordering this weekend because I said I was gonna pre-order, but my dad like didn't want to, I guess, or something. I don't know. But um, <clears throat> I thought I was gonna pre-order and then I didn't, and then I don't know. Uh, and this assault moab is really slow. Don't even mind it. Um, I was just going for like a good KD this game. I think I'm a few off of it, but I get it by a dom, so that that will give you like a indicator, like when to look for the moab. But <clears throat> Uh, yeah, Modern Warfare 2, uh, I got it, like, a week late, and, uh, I heard everyone talking about it, like, Modern Warfare 2 is so sick, you can customize shit, I'm like, oh, shit, and there's my Assault Moab, almost a six-minute Assault Moab, good job, good job, right, that was a good Assault Moab, no, but, um, it's not really for the Assault Moab, just for, like, the 58 and 3, um, I got it, like, a week late, um, my dad got it from, tar I went to Target with him, and, the, and, uh, and my dad's like, is this the game everyone's talking about? I'm like, yeah, so I got it my first day, um, I didn't play COD 4 that much, so I was a little rusty, I skipped the whole World at War for like a year, and, um, and, uh, I don't know how I didn't die there. I skipped World at War, so I basically haven't, didn't play COD for a year, I come back my first game, I go 1 in 20, I'm like, oh my god, I suck dick again. And then I started getting the feel back at, uh, right around the winter break. And I started becoming really good at the game. And then that's when I started passing all my friends. And then the quick scope stages of Modern Warfare 2 came. And I was a quick scoper with one of my friends. Um, I stopped direct gunning. I was just a sniper. I wanted to be like a uh, toy soldier. He's the, w he's the first uh, Call of Duty. No, my first Call of Duty video commentary was Chris move and my first Call of Duty montage I watched was uh, the toy soldier search and destroy monsta montage and he was a beast I remember getting a 360 was like ridiculous like if you got 360 or or someone got a 360 like just standing still like 360 stop and then quick scope everyone thought you were a boss yeah that's how that's how much the standards have changed now if you do that people think it's a joke or, or something <clears throat> the standards have changed so much for montages, and I think Toy Soldier, he uh, he quit, and I think he's only doing mini montages now, not like montages. I don't know. He might come back for Black Ops 2. That'd be pretty awesome if he does. But um, he was the first Call of Duty video I've ever watched. So he was the first Call of Duty person I've ever watched. So I think that's pretty sick. <clears throat> and he he um he was one of the better uh, snipers. I didn't even know who Zergriz was or. <clears throat> Or um, Muzza Fuzza, or Hutch, or C Nanners. All I knew about was Chris Move and um, and Toy Soldier. I mean, I didn't even watch videos daily like I do now, but I I would watch them like every couple weeks, like to see if there's a new montage or something. And um, <clears throat> I think it, he, his montages were awesome, and he kind of like inspired me to start a YouTube, even though I I don't know that was back in Modern Warfare 2. So, he inspired me to get better, basically. And, um, I don't know. He, he's a beast. Uh, I'll put his channel link in the description. Uh, you could check out some of his montages. The only thing I don't like about him is his music. Um, I don't know. He, he's rock. I, I'm not a big rock fan. But, uh, that's the game. Uh, long nine minutes. Um, uh, commentary. I was gonna talk about other stuff, but I guess I, I was gonna talk about the beginning of Black Ops. But, whatever. Alright guys, uh, peace out, spin TT Venom. And Hype gets his Moab right there and doesn't get to call it in. Alright, see ya.